Hey, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Koyuki Kubota, and I'm from Nagoya City University in Japan. Today, I'll be presenting my research titled Evaluating the Efficacy of Writing versus Sight Methods in Vocabulary Memorization for Japanese L2 Learners. This study aims to determine whether rote learning through the writing method or the sight method is more effective for mem memorizing L2 vocabulary. Okay, I'll start by reviewing the previous research first. What do you think about the effect of repeated writing for memory? Naka and Naoi researched this question. They asked subject to learn each item by writing or reading. In the results, the strong effect of the strong effect of the repeated writing occurred for graphic designs but not for other types of items. They suggest that repeated writing facilitates the encoding of visual information of graphic designs. This table shows materials they used. As I said before, the strong effect of the repeated writing occurred for graphic designs, such as Hangul style graphic and alphabet style graphic, but not for other types of items, such as Chinese characters and English. I had two questions of this previous research. First, vocabulary they use are too short and too easy. Second, they ask good subject remember words by reading five times or writing five times. Instead of unifying the number of times, the time they remember should be unified. Mangen explored which way is more effective for word recall, handwriting or typing. They used three writing modalities. Handwriting with pen on paper. Typewriting on a conventional laptop keyboard. And Typewriting on an iPad touch keyboard. Participants were instructed to write down words read out loud to them and assessed using oral free recall and recognition. My question of this research, the way of presentation materials, reading aloud, and the way of memorization, writing or typing, was different. If they memorized the words by looking at the list of the words written down, different results might have been obtained. Now, let me move on my research question. My research question is that which is more effective for memorizing second language vocabulary? Load learning through the writing method or the sight method? The hypothesis is that when partial responses are considered correct, scores are higher for the sight method compared to the writing method. 
What is required depends on the style of the test. Partial knowledge is necessary for questions that have choices. The second hypothesis is that then only complete responses are considered correct. Scores are higher for the writing method compared to the site method. Complete knowledge is necessary for questions that require even spelling. Again, what is required depends on the style of the test, such as partial knowledge for questions that have choices, and complete knowledge for questions that have required even spelling. Therefore, I have these two hypotheses. Okay, I'd like to look at the next topic, result of my research. The participants are 33 Japanese English as a foreign language learners, including 15 males and 18 females. And their CFR level are B1 or B2 and they are university students. For materials, the 36 very low frequency English words. Half of the words are displayed with their Japanese meanings. I presented words in these four patterns and displayed it 15 seconds per one word. I will show you the slides used for 15 seconds. Try to remember them. How was it? Did you remember? I'll show additional examples. These words are long and difficult, don't you think? Next, analysis. I used one way and over to analyze. I did two analyses. First, comparison of writing method and site method when partial responses are considered correct. Second, comparison of writing method and site method when complete responses are considered correct. Now, I will tell you what we found. This graph shows score of writing method and site method when partial responses are considered correct. Partial knowledge is necessary for questions that have choices. The score for site method is higher than for writing method. Mean of writing method is higher than site method. And the number of p-value shows that site method is significantly better than writing method. Secondly, I'll show a result when complete responses are considered correct. 
Complete knowledge is necessary for questions that require even spelling. The score for writing method is higher than for sight method. Mean of writing method is higher than sight method. However, no significant differences were observed. This is likely due to large individual differences as, as evidenced by the large standard deviation values. Maybe there was a difference between those who like lighting method and those who don't. So, I'll now revisit the research question. Which is more effective for memorizing second language vocabulary, loss learning through the writing method or the sight method? My hypothesis is that when partial responses are considered correct, scores are higher for the sight method compared to the right method. This answer is yes. There was a significant difference. The other hypothesis is that when only complete responses are considered correct, scores are higher for the writing method compared to the sight method. This answer is no. The score of writing method is higher than sight method, but there was not significant differences. So in conclusion, when partial responses were considered correct, results indicated that scores were significantly higher for the sight method compared to the writing method. However, when only complete responses were deemed correct, no significant difference was observed between the two methods. These findings suggest that the site method may be more beneficial for the general memorization of English vocabulary, such as selecting the correct vocabulary choice, but not necessarily for achieving perfect spelling accuracy. accuracy. Moving forward, further research should explore large sample size. And no significant difference was found when complete responses were considered as correct because Individual differences may have influenced the result. So, I'd like to examine the relationship between personal memorization prevalence and result. These are sources. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for listening.